my lovely fellow adopters, potential adopters. My name is Nairi Squires. I have two adopted sons. This is an adoption support type channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about a therapy program that I did with my eldest son, which was designed by Dan Hughes. And it's all about the nurturing attachment between the parent and the child. So it's not direct, direct therapy, psychological processes with the child. It's all about that bond between the parent and the child. So if you think actually this type of channel could be useful to you, then please take the time now to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you know when I'm bringing out other videos. So we'd had the boys for a long time from foster care before we ever went through the therapy programme, but they had been receiving drama therapy for many years and still continued to need therapy all the way through their school years. Open to opportunities for therapeutic work with the boys because their bond with me, particularly the older boy, was a little bit sketchy. and They did tend to um, have a lot of insecurities around relationships with both me and my husband, actually. So it was no harm done to go through a programme I knew it was going to be intense. I knew it was going to take many weeks. What did we do? The first thing that we did was we were interviewed by the psychologist and we were um, actually filmed during that interview about how we felt about um, our son. And we were going to go forward with both sons to do both of the sons through the therapy programme. So we were interviewed and asked how we felt about the parenting, what we felt were the challenges. So that was quite awkward in some ways because we were being interviewed about how we felt about how we were parenting. They were, we were given tasks to do in front of the camera and both the boys were then asked to do tasks with us. And we were filmed doing that and then we had feedback on each of those tasks. And what was interesting was the way that my husband and I parented quite differently and how our expectations were different. And what was also incredibly interesting from that was the still the lack of security around the relationship that we both had with the boys and how anxious they were when we weren't in the room. So there was one activity where we had to leave the room and come back in again and it shows the level of anxiety is really heightening, which kind of was good from the sense that it showed they had an attachment with us, yes, but for older boys that were very anxious about when we left the room, that showed probably how they were going to be when they were at school and away from us. And it led us to understand something about our older son that we'd never understood before, which came out only a few years ago, so when he was already about eight, that he has a high level of anxiety being away from us at school even now. And he confessed that he doesn't like to sit near the door in case somebody takes him away. So the next part of the programme was to decide who was going to work with who. And the psychologist felt that because our oldest son was older, that we should start with him and that we should build the bond with me. So I had several weeks where we used to go down for about a couple of hours and run through a similar set of a pattern of things that we did. And it was all about bringing me and my son together, who I'm going to call James just for the sake of the video, bringing myself and James together and having fun connections, fun times. Now, James has never been one to enjoy a lot of close touch or definitely not enjoy eye contact at all. So this was a real challenge for him in the beginning, a real challenge. So we were asked to do fun games like um, hitting balloons to each other, rolling around on the floor, you name it, we were doing it. A little bit embarrassing in, at some times. He started to get really into it actually and started to have some real fun with it. He probably found the more intimate activities more difficult. So when we were doing things like uh, moisturising each other's hands or face painting, he probably found it a little more difficult, but he did get he did get into all of it. And over a period of time, I found in particular that it started to be take him through regression. So regression is about taking them back to earlier trauma and abuse and helping them to work through, process some of those thoughts and feelings. So the closer we got during the process of the DDP programme, the more regression I noticed that James was having and he started to have nightmares. But what it did do is started to open up some discussion around past abuse. So bearing in mind that he left his birth family when he was three, I thought that although he may have some memories because it was pre-verbal, he may not remember very much. But what happened was he started to open out about some of the abuse that he suffered. And he actually did have some quite clear memories around some of that abuse. So as painful and difficult as that was, 
there's where the program served its purpose in helping him to feel more secure with me to start sharing some of those more intimate details that we'd never heard before. So part of the program was at the ends of every session when we had active play or close play or stuff that was very tactile and sensory was where we would read a story together and the psychologist would read the story and she'd ask me to hold James almost in a kind of baby-like style and she asked me and to feed him like a baby and I thought he would reject that I mean we're talking about him being about eight years old but he absolutely loved it he loved the babying side of it and this is where the true regression took place I believe which allowed him to then open up as painful as it was so to start with he felt uncomfortable he would go stiff but by the time we'd done about, say, six sessions, he started to relax and he knew what was going to happen. And he took this regression type therapy on board, 10 to 12 sessions. And I believe that that opens Pandora's box for James to be allowed to explore some of his, his abusive past. And then gradually that shut down again. And I believe we dealt with quite a few issues through that DDP program. So I can highly recommend it. It, it was a, there was a lot of therapy within it. So if you've ever heard of TheraPlay or read about TheraPlay, there were lots of principles around TheraPlay within the programme, but it was for us a highly successful thing. And what I want to add here is some of you probably realise I'm in the UK, so apologies to those who want, but in the UK, the Adoption Support Fund can potentially fund this type of programme. So the Adoption Support Fund no longer just funds anything, it only funds stuff that is going to be therapeutic. So the DDP programme is one of those options. Of course, there are many others. I hope you've enjoyed this little discussion about the therapy that I went through with my son James. And if you think you're going to enjoy a channel that gives you support, tips and advice and learn about my family and everything that I've gone through, then please just take the time to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye.